let's make sure that that does not happen to your chrysanthemums. So just a few simple steps can determine if your chrysanthemums are going to stay fresh for a really long time. And we'll take a look at those. And if this is your first time here, my name is Marlene. Welcome to Marlene's How To's, my home and garden channel. So chrysanthemums are a mainstay in the autumn garden, and I just absolutely love them. They come in so many different colors, your pinks, your yellows, oranges, white, burgundy. They are single petals. Some of them like these that you're seeing here. Some of them are double petals like you're seeing here, and they're just all so, so gorgeous. Now, the question is, how do we make sure that we take good care of them so they last for a long time. Well, bear in mind that they are sun-loving flowers, but even though they are, if it is still warm in your area, like say in the 70s and 80s, you'll want to keep them in a part sunny area until it cools down. Of course, if you have something like maybe a function, you know, you have a display, a beautiful one like this one here, then a, a few days or so, you know, won't matter too much to them. They'll be okay. Now, when you are purchasing them, make sure that if you want, you're someone who gets them early in the season, that you get them where you have more buds that are not opened than buds that are. So that way they can last right through until Thanksgiving and even long after that. Over here now, when you have them like this, where you have large flowers, lots of them on there, you want to make sure that you're giving them enough water like this one right here this one may perhaps have to be watered once per day if it is in a warm area you can see how many blooms that have to be fed because if that doesn't happen then it starts to look like this where it gets dehydrated and they start to flop over and dry out and they could end up dying like this one here and chrysanthemums can actually last for many years so how do you know when it's time to get your chrysanthemums watered? Well, typically like any other plant that's in a pot, you reach in and you just check the soil. And if it's a little bit dried out, then it's time to go ahead and get them watered. You can do it under your kitchen faucet if it's a smaller container like this. Or just get your watering can or your hose and just water them and make sure you see the water running out of the bottom. The other side of the coin though is overwatering chrysanthemums and these right here are being overwatered. They are actually in a sleeve and the sleeves are so beautiful and so festive and we like to see them but what happens is that there is no hole in the bottom of the sleeve and if you look at the one on the left then you can see it's kind of flopping over there because it's actually in distress right now. So it's not necessarily that something has to be underwater to be in distress, it can be in distress from being overwatered. So just to show you an example here, I'm just watering this one in a sleeve I had to show you what happens. When you water it like that, the water runs out of it into the bottom. However, there is no hole there, so there's nowhere for it to run. And if you have enough water collecting in there, then what happens is that, you know, bacteria start to build up. There isn't enough oxygen. Then you have root rot. The plant goes in distress and then it is going to die. And we don't want that. We don't want to waste our money like that or kill the plant, you know. So I just wanted to pause for a moment and say if you do love gardening, you love gardening tips and topics, you know, flowers, house plants, be sure to hit the subscribe button and tap on the notification bell twice so you never miss an upload. And we have some wonderful things coming up for the Christmas season as well. So stay tuned for that. You can also put your chrysanthemums in water like I did right here. Bear in mind though that they won't last as long as if they're growing in a pot. The next thing is deadheading. You want to make sure that you are deadheading your chrysanthemums. They're taking, taking off the spent blooms. You can use a pair of clean scissors like this or, you know, shears. Um, right over here, I'm showing you how I decorated this one early in the season. And then I went in and I just snipped them off. Make sure if you're using a clean pair of scissors or pruners, you know, something that's sharp. Once you have little buds under there that you can see, then they will bloom for you again. As you can see, these are doing right here. The next thing to bear in mind is that even though they are cool weather flowers, they are not cold weather flowers like your pansies and your kale. So you want to make sure that you can bring them inside if they're in a pot like I did for these right here. What you'll want to do is to put them next to a door where you have some light coming through. Or if you have a sunny window, you can put them there as well. But you want to make sure that they are not touching the glass because if they're touching the glass, then that can burn the flowers or it can burn the leaves. So you want to just back them off a little bit so they have a little space going around them. And they'll do pretty much fine right here. You just check on them. They may need a little less watering typically because 
you know the air inside is not going to have wind and things that will dry it out as quickly now if you're not able to bring them in because they're in a flower bed or a very large container like i have right here when you have a hard freeze coming up the best thing to do is before that actually hits you go in and you give them a nice good soak you wet the petals you wet the leaves just soak them all the way down and that prevents any dry ear pockets from stressing out the plant it just fills it in and it also coats them over so they have that nice protective layer over them and if you wanted to see how i did this container garden i'll link it at the end for you it's a beautiful fall arrangement and they'll hold up pretty well if the chrysanthemums aren't you can always cut them back and just put some mulch over them until next season so now let's go ahead and do a quick recap the first thing is to make sure that if it's still warm in your area that you are putting them in an area that has hard sun until the weather cools down a little bit. And this is, would be for the potted ones, you know, you're able to move those around. You wanna make sure that you are not underwatering your chrysanthemums. You'll just go in and check them to make sure that they're a little bit dry, but not, you know, like powdery dry, bone dry like that. And the other side of the coin is not overwatering them where you have them sitting in water in a sleeve or maybe a decorative um, container that doesn't have a hole in the bottom because they'll have root rot and then they're going to get smelly and they're going to die on you and that stresses out your plant of course next thing is when the weather gets cold you can bring them indoors so that way they're protected from the cold blast because they are cool weather flowers not cold weather flowers and so that'll help to protect them and if you can't do that then you just want to go ahead and give them a nice good soak before a hard freeze comes through so that way it offers them a layer of protection and if you wanted to see how i get my chrysanthemums to bloom every year i'll go ahead and link at the end for you my previous video that shows you exactly how to have them come back year after year i do thank you so much for watching i wish you happy gardening i wish you a happy fall and i do hope to see you in the next video take care